welcome to another Simple Simons. Hello! Oh, 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 there's an earthquake, Lewis! Oh, oh, what? Oh, it's localised in your room. Are you okay? Yeah, apparently. Oh, God, God, that was... Oh, That was sorry. quite something. I'm sorry Say, about that, was, that everyone. I'm that sorry. That was a shade more violent than oh, in rehearsal, I've got to say. Geez. Oh, jeez. What the heck? Oh. Hello! <laughs> Welcome. Welcome back. Look, my glasses are wonky because Optical Express, everyone. If you want to get a pair of glasses, don't go there. Um, <laughs> wow. Well, Lewis. Yes, what What do you want? Who have we got today? We've got Pyrian Flax today, Hello. my good friend. Introduce you yourself, sir. Uh, my name is Pyrian Flax and it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Wow. Glad you could all turn out. <laughs> Who pressed the... There's these oh, Google Hangout God. effects. <laughs> and so I pressed one from then... It was very appropriate. Who pressed Kyrian, it? He's found a new toy to mess with and he's <laughs> going to ruin our lives and the broadcast and everything. It might have forever. been me. <laughs> oh my god. Good. Good. Right, well, in this Worse game than Hitler. For people who don't know, uh, I asked Simon simple questions about our guest, and you, Pyrian, can pretty much give him points or take away points based on how accurate or inaccurate Simon is. So, okay. as a sort of example, first off, gentle question to sort of ease you in. Um, mm -hmm. What kind of, of things do you think Pyrian would like on a, on, a, on a normal sandwich if he was given a choice? Would it be Marmite, Good question. pickle, salad cream or mustard? So he's already got like a normal filling of meat or cheese or whatever, but it's what sort of condiment goes on it. Yeah, or just, you know, maybe he doesn't want any filling. But who would have who would have marmite with a sandwich? Like you'd have that specifically on toast. Don't give him a clue, Pyrian. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so it's not marmite. That's good. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the tip. It goes well with cheese, though, marmite. So you know that would work. Um, I uh... imagine he went to the kitchen and he wanted to make himself a sandwich. What would okay. he make? What's his go-to sandwich? That's his go-to sandwich filling, not just condiment, but. The the filling. The I'm, meat. I'm making a sandwich, but it has to have a sandwich. condiment on it. It can't just yeah. be the total package. Yeah. What is it? I and reckon it, yeah. ham, cheese, and pickle. Ham, cheese, and pickle. Very traditional. Uh, very classic combination. Go on then. It's, the it's, it's a good effort. How many points do I award here, or is it arbitrary? Uh, it's up to you. Okay. I well, think one gonna, for each filling that I got. I'm, right. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say one for ham, one for cheese, but I'm gonna deduct a point because I hate pickles so much <gasps> that the idea of having it on a sandwich is is just fills me with dread. So almost as one. much as I hate marmite, I hate marmite too. Oh my goodness. So you get one point. One, one point. point. One point. Uh, oh. so, yeah. Wow. Well that was that was we eased into that nicely. So now you get the idea. Okay, so what does Pyrian do when it snows, Simon? Uh, what does he do? You mean, yeah. does he stay inside where it's nice and warm? Maybe he has a hot chocolate. A... <laughs> or do you think, you know, does he go outside, make a snowman? He's got kids. He's got kids. So I reckon he goes out with the kids, builds a snowman, does some, like, tobogganing, has a snowball fight. I reckon he's out there in the cold, getting wet, but he's loving it and he's having fun. He doesn't stay inside. He's not a, a, a sad... Lonely man who just stays inside drinking hot chocolate all the time, <laughs> like me. I, I'm um, going to give five points for the fullness and correctness of that answer. Well oh done. Oh my god! Yeah, five. you read me like a book. Plus the, the one. The, well the, done. The detective work there was sensational. Having kids is just part of it. I was I was out there building snowmen before there were kids here. Now there are kids here. I just have an excuse. You're basically a hipster when it comes to making snowmen. Hipster snowman maker. Okay. Yeah. Well, kind so of, that's six, six so it's like points. a snowman wearing a, a really trendy scarf. Yeah, and, skinny uh, jeans, yeah. you know, that kind of stuff. He's got a MacBook Air, he's in Starbucks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's working on a novel, all that kind of stuff, yeah. Sweet. Okay, good. That was a really good answer. Well done, Simon. Holy crap. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> what's the preferred order when you've you've just finished in, in the gents and, and you're zipping yourself up? Is it is it button, then zip, or zip, <laughs> then button? I'm sorry. What has he been doing in the gents? He's, at, he's gone for. A, he hasn't uh, been George Michaeling, has he? No, he's gone for just a quick, a quick leak. A um, quick uh, what number one? A quick number one. Yeah, let's say a number one. Yeah. So why would he undo a button if he just did a number one? Well, you have a trousers right with a button and a zip. Okay, do you do zip button or do you do button zip? Why is but he undoing? Why, I mean, you just the he's point not of pulling the, zip the is... trousers down to his yeah. ankles, standing at the urinal <laughs> and kissing <laughs> like a three-year-old. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, maybe I, he does still do that. No, I'm no, sure he some doesn't. People still do no, that. he doesn't. He just uh, he just has a zip. He undoes the zip. Uh, I will he... just say to complicate this. Actually, I tend to have a button fly. I prefer that because of the inherent danger of the zip. Oh. Uh, so I tend to go for a button fly. So I do have to undo the top button, but technically Damn it's it. all buttons. There's no oh. zip. So I think yeah, the, the question, question is probably then would void. Be, is it top think, button you can't, first? You can't do a button fly from the top first. No, you but have to the work question up. is, Pyrian, it's, this, you, you guys get confused. Sorry. Okay? This isn't a question about whether or not you undo the button and then undo the zip. And then it's not about the actual, it's not about that. It's right. about when you, even when you put your products on first in the morning, right. do you do the top button first? Do you not, you, 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 you didn't you mention this Wait, first thing in the morning phone? scenario. I'm having a, I'm, I've got a phone call. Okay. Oh, do you wanna, okay. Do you want to just, 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 just say that? Let me just see who it is. Hello? Hello, Hello it's me. Can I call you back later? We're Bloody in the middle of a podcast. Hell. Back. Okay. It's not very professional, is it? Sorry. Well, it's my I... mum. Jeez. I can't. It said mum. What are you going to do? Hang up? Well, she that's is. what we do, and that's why we've got six million subscribers <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, our mums are not pleased with us, though. Yeah. <laughs> but your mum's going to speak to you. Six million subscribers, but my mum ain't one. Oh. Thank you. Why? Oh, stop Why? using the sound effects. We're not adding these. People are going to think we've added these in post. I've no. got access to all of them. Oh are you ready, Simon? God. Oh! No, the timing on that was terrible. That's more <laughs> appropriate. Um, okay. You are the worst. Absolutely. Next question. Uh, Pyrian, you're out in a uh, supermarket. Mm. Uh, well, Simon, Simon, sorry. Pyrian's out in the supermarket and he's uh, he's he, he spies the pick and mix counter. You know, the Ooh. pick and mix, all the little little plastic trays of, of, of pick and mix, delicious little sweets. And you've got a bag and you have to make, I don't know, like a, a pound or is it kilos these days? Half a kilo. You Half have to fill a up a bag. Of, of you have candies. to fill up a bag of pick and mix. What do, right. you, what do you pick? What would he pick? Um, yeah. Mm, good question. <clears throat> now... He's already said that he doesn't like Marmite, so I'm also guessing he doesn't like licorice sweets. So he would avoid licorice. Mm, Sherlock Holmes. I that is that is Sherlockian. I yeah. don't. I think he would probably Holmesian. avoid anything too melty. So perhaps avoid the chocolate. <laughs> I reckon he enjoys a good fruit salad and a flying saucer. Okay. Fruit salads uh, and flag sauces. I, I, I'm pretty wild of the mark, I guess. I mean, I'm not no. a fan of of licorice, but I I do like chocolate. But I'm more of a I'm more of a, a bonbon kind of man. A bonbon 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 bonbon. Bon, 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 bon. oh, bon, or bon, bon. Uh, or uh, the uh, the super sour cola bottles. Big fan. Like the what? ones that is like so bitter that. It's like that. I it's never would have like thought that. Acid. I never thought that. On Did your you remember tongue. when I, I, I was in the sweet? There's one near me, a proper old fashioned sweet shop with the jars and everything. And uh, one of the things they've got in there is the lemon crystals. It's just yellow sugar, like it's with, with a bit of lemon flavoring. Who sells this stuff to kids? When I was a kid, I remember eating that. You buy a bag of lemon crystals, it's just yellow sugar with a tiny, tiny bit of lemon flavoring. It's like meth for kids. How isn't do we it? have teeth? How do we have teeth? It's basically meth for it's kids. Well, yeah, it's unbelievable. But when you're a kid, you lose them all, don't you? And you get them recycled. You're sick of them by the time you're like 12 or 13. Yeah, you've got that's your true, teeth. yeah. yeah. I, I didn't eat that. I, I'm not a big sweet fan. I'm more of a savoury kind of dude. So you would fill your little bag of pick and mix with sausage rolls and volivants. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not. I don't like sausage rolls or volivants. Wow. So or I don't Marmite. think I've got any points. But for I'm that. not. I'm genuinely not a fussy eater. These just happen to be naming all the things I don't really go for. Sausage rolls are sort of yeah, they're, they're, they're okay. I've I, I've blown it, Lewis. I don't think <laughs> that Greg sponsorship that is is fucked. <laughs> the Greg that's gone. Wait, that was who, hello, Greg's. <laughs> now you can stuff them. I don't want a lifetime supply of sausage rolls. Mr. Greggs, I'm sure we had him. Didn't we have him on the phone at one point, Simon? Do you remember him? Really? We yeah. should we should interview him on this. We should get him on next week. <laughs> he hates sausage rolls as well. Is it'll he probably, on Polaris? It'll probably just be you, Simon, with an effect hat on. If you get one of the hats, <laughs> pretending to be Mr. Greggs. How do I do the? Uh, let's see, headwear. What a hat! Like, like that's a good. Maybe that's a butcher's hat, actually. Hello, I'm Mr. Greggs. <laughs> Would you like a sausage roll? Like that sort of thing. I thought Mr. Greggs was more of a, like, pad. Sausage rolls are pad. Everything's Here's a pad. Here's my sausage roll. Oh, you baked the cake, Mr. Greggs. That's, that's fantastic. I've made you a cake. 
These are so that is, bad, aren't that they? That is so, so weird. Shit. <laughs> These effects are very, very strange. They, aren't they? They, a lot of them come with the default, like on my webcam, it's got effects like this. And my the ones where you can like warp your face and stuff like that, or, or uh, blur blur the background. This is this Simon. Is one. Haven't you got some of them on your webcam as well? I don't want to. I know. I don't want to get off topic here and be oh, like Jesus. ridiculous. This is but, what happens when you've never like used a webcam before. Everyone, Things get <laughs> really weird. <laughs> <laughs> what Wait, the what? fuck is I don't that? Know what, I don't know what's going on. Hello? Guys, I, I can't talk now. I'm in Venice. Hello? I'm sorry. Am I, oh. am I a cat now? God, look at that. That is really creepy. What is wrong? You're like having a Hello? stroke. Hello? <laughs> I'm moving my head. It's like a cat's had a Hello? stroke and it's just... <laughs> Are you okay? I'm, I'm just fine, Lewis. Thank you for asking. I'm a cat God, now. That really is something, isn't How, it? Why is it so bad? Why do you think your eyes are like closed <laughs> like that? Like it's been somewhere in glasses, Take I think. Take your glasses off. Take your glasses Hang off. Hang on, I'll take my it... glasses off. Has that improved? Oh, there much, you go. it's a hundred times better. Hello? Hello? How are you? Hello? I think you have to exaggerate your speech yes. quite a lot. Open your, open your mouth as wide as you can and we'll see if the cat's uh... got teeth. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, that is that is terrifying. Um, good. Well, let's just carry oh, on. So, next man. question uh, related to the cat, I suppose. Pyrian uh, or Simon, if if Pyrian could have any animal as a sort of magical familiar, you know, right. uh, magical style, mm. um, what would his animal, what would his spirit animal be? What would his familiar be? His companion? I think maybe he could change into it. So it's it's he's like a witch and he has a, a familiar, but it's also his spirit animal and he can transform into it. Yeah, I just want to pick the animal which you think resonates <laughs> right. may resonate very very strongly with him. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. It's um, like if you ever read the Amber Spyglass, they all had these like demons. They, they, they had these like yeah demons, which were kind of like them, but like an animal of them. Oh, it's a bit weird. Um, sort of like a, a what so. Am I joined to this animal in a spirit way? Like perhaps not more than a familiar, but almost like a sort of, sort of. Yeah, it's like your soul. Okay, in an animal. Yeah. But I'm still me as well. Yeah. Can I see what the animal sees? No. Yeah. Okay. Yep. No. Yep. Okay. Oh. No. See, That's he's a... thinking. He doesn't know the answer immediately, so he's having a good think. Yeah. Who who doesn't have that on the tip of their tongue? <laughs> If you were this, if you're a spirit animal joined by a telepathy, you should just know like that, right? <laughs> I should have, I should have asked you this question beforehand, so I knew the answer. Well, he's got to come up with an answer, and if I like the sound of it, maybe I'll go for that ah, and give him yeah. points. Okay, I'm pretty think, flexible on the whole spirit animal thing. I think he would be a, a big, a big scary sort of like dire wolf, and okay. you know he would be a, like a free spirit, just sort of you know running like a lone wolf. He he wow. isn't tied down by the pack, you know. He just he's free. He roams. He he kills rabbits and eats them for his dinner. Ooh. Delicious. You're selling it. Ten points. I like that. Ten one. points. Yeah, yeah. Ten that's points. what he wants to be. I don't know whether that's actually what he would be. I reckon he would be like who a decides. Kind of... What I just find out that I've got a crappy spirit animal. Yeah, it's like a, that's what like... happened with Jane. It's like a pigeon. It's like Janeway a pigeon. on Voyager. She was like a, a shitty little lizard thing. Oh God. Yeah, that'd be me. I'd, I'd end up being like a weevil or something. What Dota 2 character would you be? Oh, wow. Probably Skeleton King, obviously. Oh. Because, you know, that's that's like my thing. Let me see if I can carry off a crown. So if you were... Oh, God. Ha-ha! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, these fucking things! Christ, why? Oh, my God. Why? <laughs> uh. The king... Is here! <laughs> Did you just play the Inception sound? Have you done that? There's oh a music. God. That is amazing. Not so much that one for oh the. My that God. Does, that's not very kingly. That's not but every epic. time I. The crown. No, oh, the king is risen! Ha <laughs> It's sort of. Uh. Yeah. Okay. And on that bombshell. <laughs> next question. Let's go with the next one. So, so 10 points. I think I'm up to 16 now. Yeah, so 10, yeah, 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 yeah. 16. You didn't get any ah, points for all the sweets and everything like that, so yeah. You're doing good. You're doing very well. You've been doing what's, good lately. What's the high score so far? Uh, We're not really keeping track, to oh, be honest. Okay. <laughs> no did, idea. He did well on Hat Films, actually. Yeah. Didn't do so well on Sips. Mm. Um, 
didn't do super well on Terps either. Well, did very that's well on because you films. scored it and you, you were very, you know, you were very frugal with the giving away of points, Lewis. You've been, you've been, I don't think you've been as accurate with Pyrian as you have been with Hat Films, but Pyrian's liked your answers, so that counts mm. for a lot. Yeah, that does count for a lot. We never did get an answer about that trousers, button zip thing, but it doesn't matter about that. Now, what is your, <laughs> pref- I don't know why I'm so obsessed with that. <laughs> What is your preferred Monopoly piece? So, Simon, what is Pyrian's preferred Monopoly piece? His go-to I would Monopoly say piece. the race car. The hat. All about the hat, baby. Oh, God Sorry. damn it. It's the hat, the top hat. I, I'm a classy property owner slash magnate who, you know, I want a hat, a preferably one of them top hats. You don't Bitch. want a flash car to like drive around and do I don't, your I don't drive, I am driven. And I don't care what kind of car it is as long as it has champagne in the back and room for my top hat. Wow, do you actually you not drive? No, I do have a car, yeah. Oh. <laughs> but Real I'm, life, I'm, you are just a normal person, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not actually a property magnate. I'm just channeling my Monopoly player. So do you sort of role play when you do Monopoly? Do you really get into the mind of a really corrupt, Absolutely. nasty... Absolutely. I'm like, I'm like a slum landlord, do you know what I mean? I buy all the cheap properties and just fill them with hotels and drive the poor people out, oh, become God, evil, that's, yeah. That's horrible. It's Monopoly, dude. Jeez. I've always wondered about that. Like, if you build, like, a hotel on a really shit place like Old Kent Road, is it a really shit hotel? Is that the whole point? It's like a really it run It costs down... the same as a hotel on Mayfair. No, actually, it doesn't, does it? It costs the same to build it but then you charge more, which is, you know, basically that's that's capitalism to a T. I read somewhere like the optimal strategy for Monopoly was to like get the ones which are like the orange ones or something and the that, red ones. Yeah, because, round by because, the free parking square. Yeah. Because they're they're moderate cost and, you know, I, I think because if the further you get around the board, there's a chance to land on that community chest thingy that sends you to jail um, that's past right. go that's and also exactly the, the go to jail is right at the top of that avenue so you could just skip the whole lot the whole so point statistically yeah. people are going to land around that area yeah, yeah because also because the all average the roll is seven you, and a half as well so. just, they, everything sends you to jail and obviously yeah. when you roll two dice the average roll is a seven that's the most common thing so you get set to jail all the time and then you roll sevens and and combination of sevens and that 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 puts you more distributed on the orange and red and also the best thing to do is not to build hotels it's to build two or three houses so when you're playing monopoly with your families this christmas there's the strategies that you need there you um, go you've learned something today by watching this to yep. dominate Never and course, that terrible family arguments. of course if i were playing monopoly with you i would graciously lose oh, and and step out early because then you, you avoid all the arguments and everyone's happy monopoly's not a very good game like mrs f refuses to play it no, it's yeah. She refuses. She cheats when she does play, and then to avoid the uh, the issue, and because she hates it, she just avoids playing it. But she does cheat. She's always the banker, takes money from the bank, all the rest of it. Wow. She did that on one of the first times that I, I went around her house because I've known her since we were like eighteen. Okay. That's when we started dating. So uh, we went around the house because we were still basically, you know, your kids. We were like, oh, uh, well, mm, what should we do? Let's play Monopoly. <laughs> play Monopoly. You guys. It was, it was crap. <laughs> was... And then we were like, wow. wait, why don't we just get off with each other instead? It's like, yeah. So, just sort of... <laughs> so the board wow. just scattered the hotels yeah. everywhere. That hat got kicked under the table. I just did. He, did you, know. you just like clear the board like that and you threw just her on top, her. Of the, <laughs> <laughs> on top of the coffee throw table? Her, but it was a glass one and she smashes there. through. Oh my God. You had like a. You had like an iron sticky in your ass and stuff, and like, yeah. oh my god, terrible. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of the other, pe- the dog, the little dog. Oh, god don't knows bring the dog went. into this. <laughs> Why? Why? Don't listen, Mandrew. Don't listen. Oh god. We forgot to ask this last time, but the final question, oh. because of course, Simple Simon was a pieman. What's your favourite pie filling? Type of pie filling, Simon? Mm. What do you think? Now- he doesn't like sausage rolls, but he does like savoury things. So, steak and kidney pie. Oh, bingo. Oh! oh! Can't top that, baby. There Can't we top go. That. Well done. That is well top done, notch, me. Simon. Well done. Well done. Top notch so, pie guessing. That's why points? you, Simon, are the king of I the pies. I give you, I don't know, how many points do you think a steak and kidney pie is worth? Let your conscience decide. Five. Okay. Five. I'd say t- I'd say ten. We'll say ten. Say ten. Yeah, so that yeah, puts ten. me on what twenty six points. Twenty five. I deducted a point. Okay, twenty five yeah. points. 
25 right. points. That's, yeah, that's pretty well, good. It's got to be a record. It's got to yeah. be a record. Well done. Yeah. That is a very good score, bearing in mind you don't you don't know Pyrian as well as you know some of the other people who've been on. Um, True that. Thank you so much, Pyrian. You're amazing. We'll have you back on, I'm sure, <laughs> in future when we do when we when we start running out of guests and we have to have uh, the same people on. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to that day. 